Hello there everyone and welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization 5 Fair Mod. I'm going to be doing a quick mod review, well not quick, it's gonna be quite long. And I'm also going to well, show my first impressions. I haven't I have played this a little bit. A little bit. Uh, though not as much as I wanted to. Anyways. So I'm gonna select a random civilization because I I've actually never well I have as I said I have played a little bit but I've never played with um, more than two I think I've played with well I can't even remember the name of them but I just played for a few turns and well went off anyways we're gonna be playing with a random civilization on the Pangaea map on the large map though I'm uh, maybe too standard yeah standard. Um, difficulty King, uh, Emperor, uh, I would only do that off camera because that requires actually <laughs> some skill. Um, last time I played it, I did pretty good, but just just takes too long with the whole war thing. Anyways, the pace was quick. Um, enable all victories, 7 civilizations, 15 Pangium. I'm gonna start from the age of humanity, though I really want to go from the you know the future. But I won't be able to show you all the awesome uh, decks and stuff. I actually don't know a single one of them, so I'm excited as much. I'm also excited. And let's start the game. I wonder whom the Theo Theo of Halt. Some kind of Naga? At Atlantis and Temple of Uptea. Cities drain Viv energy, but undeveloped jungles produces. Really? So is that bad or good? Okay. And this is. Um, only the Maya may build this unit. It is cheaper and available sooner as the archer, which it replaces. Begin my journey. Alright, I got an Atlantist, a worker, and a set. Well, obviously, that's just a starting one. Um, I've also selected some allies to join me in. Um, they are the Water Havian. Water Havians? Kind of strange name. Yeah, and they've set. They're gonna settle in a quite crappy uh, area. Well, I'm gonna. Settle with some gems. So this mod also has a lot of new luxury items, um, some kind of mushrooms. I saw. Uh, I can't confirm if those are mushrooms, but I'll try to. Uh, I'll try to find. Wait, why can't I do anything? Um, okay, it's pre pretty standard. Pretty standard. Um, oh, here we go. Re Ranger, uh, Rogue, Wizard, Cleric, Fire Atlantis. Alright. Um, Explorer. Not doing anything. Alright, so. I'm not really sure who should I choose. A Wizard. That looks really awesome, but I need to invent something first. Um, I'm gonna go for the Warrior. I need some more arms. And holy crap, look at that. Divine magic, priesthood. Oh my god, you can already get so many inventions. Uh, really reveal Stimber on the map for us. Yeah. Spell plague, what? Spell plague? <laughs> Warfare. Um, ancient lore. So. I'm guessing I'm supposed to choose one and just roll with it. Just freaking roll with it. Uh, because this is quite a massive list. Holy Path of Darkness. Yes, these are the end decks. I won't be able to get them like for a million turns. Anyways. So, since I'm kind of religious, I should go for something that is related to religion. Um, fermentation. I do want to get fermentation, but that will require quite something. Uh, Heroic epic. 
stoneworks, um, build a, vill a village, alright, monument, mages guild, oh, mages guild, I kind of want to get the mages, and also want science, but, god damn it, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm into religion, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go for theology, what is this, uh, only available to evil. Oh, only available to evil tivs. Oh, so I think I'm a good guy. So some things that are going to be available to me um, exclu exclusively. So divine magic. What will this do? A divine spellcaster. The king's spell out. Three. This three. This phase even level. All right. Um, monastery. No, I don't want that. Uh, I actually don't want to go for religion, I want to go for magic, because that's where the fun is at. Um, I'm gonna go for a monument, of course, with this culture. So there's... So is, is it view energy, or is it culture? Anyways, enhancement, illusion, necromancy, so many spells! Uh, I should go for necromancy. But I first have to train a lot of spells. Um, right, let's get get on with this. Um, sit on the gems, so the next one we can start mining. Also, ancient ruins. I wonder what can you discover in ancient ruins in this mod? Um, not gonna go through the forest because wait, why can't I? Forestry technology required. All right, I have to. Wow, I'm screwed, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Um, I think I should have chosen forestry. Where is forestry? Really? 34 turns? I I don't really know. Um, let's see. No, this is just too much. Uh, I'm gonna go for ancient lore, as I said and go for science as well okay that's wizardry ancient arcane magic mage yeah anyways let's let's continue can i get this <laughs> with my workers i think i can actually yeah i think i'm gonna get it i'm not really sure i've never gotten to a ruins with a worker oh it's got a really drawn up Alright. It doesn't reveal anything, but oh look, ancient ruins. Alright. Um I'm not sure if I could get there first, but I, I can't do jack honestly. So the workers are no use to me. Oh some more gems, awesome. Um looks like a really nice place to settle. Some bananas, some gems. I, I really want to discover the the new um Oh, you're going back for it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. Uh, as I was saying, I really wanted to discover um, the new resources. I'm not really sure the names of it, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we'll discover some eventually. We're about to, we're about to get some of that ancient lore, and these guys are completely oblivious. Uh, I'm gonna get that. With all the ancient ruins I could get. Alright, got some survivors. Um, That's always good. Alright, so the only thing I could do now is get some settlers and settle somewhere. Alright, now, um, Mage's Guild will give me... Oh, will produce spellbooks. Oh, so, um, as I understand, for each Mage's uh, Guild you get spellbooks. Or for each mage building, you get spell books and you can use strain units. Here you go, mage requires one spell book. Um, quite nice ranged strength, uh, though the composite bowman beat them. Um, uh, I kind of want the forestry. Reveal spell books. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the spell books. I want to be a goddamn wizard. I want to be a wizard, come on. Oh, this is. A really, really good place to start, really. I'm gonna settle here. After these warriors are finished, 
I know I'm gonna go for the monument actually. Thank God I chose uh, such a low difficulty. <laughs> because I, I would have been wiped completely. Wiped off the goddamn face of the planet. They're constructing a great harbor here. Oh, 13 Viva energy. I have not yet gotten a single single school of magic. I guess I won't for quite some for some turns at least. Um I can't see the difference actually between this and Gods and Kings. Um seriously it's like exactly the same, but a little bit different, I guess. I don't think um, Civ 5 has this kind of color um, uh, black and green. I'm gonna discover someone here. A city state. Let's move. You move here. Right, so I'm really interested to check on these. Which one of these uh, would be best for me? Um, allow cities to build crypts. Uh, I'm guessing crypts allow to raise dead. Yeah, crypts have to have a chance to spawn zombies. Um, slay living, restoration, horror, um, illusion, enchantment. Evocation. Uh, yeah, evocation is it has something to do with mana, I guess. Divination uh, gives you a lot of more, a lot of growth. Transmutation. No, I don't really want to transmute. No, uh, I really need gold. Um. So by the looks of it, um. Oh, by look at that. Uh, if I choose necromancy, I permanently block uh, abjuration and conjuration. Um. What is abjuration exactly? Um. Mid train uh, specialist mages, bridges, school finisher, walls. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Necromancy actually because it's the only offensive. Um, oh wow. It's the only offensive um, skill tree. Or social policy tree. I have not. What's it called again? Schools of Magic. Yeah, Schools of Magic. Alright, I remember. My runes discovered here. I still haven't found any uh, luxury resources that. Are new, though. I'm rethinking where should I settle. Um, I said I was gonna settle somewhere here, but I see some gems and I see some gold, which oh, and I also see some wheat here, some iron, which is always useful. Um, we have some city states. So far, actually, no one's uh, making more more uh, settlers on. It. Why the hell? Other people. I have no clue why won't it uh, complete itself. It was one turn and stayed one turn. Or am I just seeing things? Well, whatever. Let's let's find some more city states. I really want to find some more city states. Uh, oh look, a border. Uh, I actually want to find a lot of uh, city states. And if you find them first, you you get um, bonuses. Well, normally you get 15 gold, but if you're the first one to find it, you get 30 gold. And I could use the gold to buy myself, um, oh, Brasna Blue Mantle of Olgard. We are not used to the ways of foreigners here in Olgard. I am Drasna Blue Mantle. Blue Mantle. Sorry, fucking my Russian accent kicked in. Uh, who are you? I am. Yeah, I'm guessing these are the same. Oh, what, what the hell? Charter. Oh, it's like paper. So I also have some charter. Um, I love to trade some charter with you. Oh, look at that icon. It's like the um, electricity invention icon from Sea of Brave New World. Awesome! I got some spearmen. Let's see who's the strong. I'm actually the strongest. I've been just derping around. Um, somehow there are lots of 
blue blue city. Well, I can't say there are a lot of blue city states uh, because I only met two. But you get the point. After this, I'm thinking of going for um. Let's see, forestry. Yeah, I'm going for forestry. I want to um. So you can construct forest camps on timber, or can you do it on every single forest? Uh, I want to construct, uh, I mean, invent forestry so I could uh, remove the, the trees and I can start mining my gems. That would be ideal. Reveals plus ones on the map. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing plus one weapons, weapon upgrades or something. Oh, they're creating an explorer. I should have done that as well, but holy cr what the hell is this? Um, let's just end my turn <laughs> and read all these. Oh, here we go, mushrooms. As I said, mushrooms. Um. Oh, these are not luxury resources. These are simple mushrooms. Oh, whatever. An excellent ingredient for food and spells. Oh, and for spells! So is it like um, a strategic resource? No? Anyway, so you have ranked 5 in the victory competition I'm about to learn. What the hell is this? This mod is just glitching out. Shouldn't have selected all of the uh, victory options. Should have selected the domination one. Anyways. Next turn. I haven't met any barbarians yet. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but um, I didn't disable them. Actually, barbarians usually help me by attacking these guys, like my my rivals, I guess. Um, what's his icon? I wonder. Oh, never remember of Waterdeep. Oh, this guy gets um. Uh, gets gets 25% more um, production towards uh, wonders. I, I actually want to dig, dig that because I really love producing wonders. Though if they're going to give that away, then I'm not really sure if they have a lot of a lot of wonders here. All right. Finally, I can make a settler. Why do they show me these things? Um, max 3 heroes per civilization. Oh, you can get heroes! So I'm honestly going for a wizard, ranger, and maybe a cleric. Requires heroes tower. Alright, alright, so I should get to the heroes tower, but I want a settler. Oh, more population. Great. Um, and my turn. I wonder how big is this map? I selected a standard, I believe, and well, if I'm cramped with my ally right next to me, then the map should be pretty small, honestly, because usually allies are uh, splashed on the other face of the goddamn planet. It's not, it's not annoying, but it's just. You can't cooperate. You you can't place roads and well, usually making roads and making tra trades with them are best because um, in C5 uh, anyone can declare war on you anytime unless you have the strong oh was it unless you have the strongest oh someone met them so I'm guessing um just one here uh, what I was saying is. Anyone can attack you anytime unless you have the strongest army, like by the demographics. No, the, the hell? The demographics. Um, I have most the most population and I have the most literacy. If you're the last on the soldiers or in the middle, people will attack you. They, they really don't care if you're friends. I've been playing Civ for quite some time now and. Um, I had so many like uh, friends, for example, um, Civilization just made friends with me, uh, I have all my trading caravans, like what, 
10, 10 or 9 caravans making me a shitload of gold and just out of nowhere they declare war on me uh, well before that they denounce me and then they declare war on me and it's really irritating because just from out of nowhere you get you, you get attacked and usually it's because they have a bigger army so kinda want to rank number one here uh, in military might so I can start making my inventions it's all when you always when you go for inventions you have to skip military because um, oh look we found a wonder because um, if you go for a military that's completely different uh, invention tree but if you go for uh, science then well you're superior the entire game and you can actually catch up on harder difficulties because on deity you just can't go um, if you pick deity and you try to to um, go for military inventions you can't win the game you just gonna get dominated actually um, because people have too much of a big advantage there um, yeah we can adopt a policy I'm gonna adopt necromancy because um, I want an offensive spell spell book or school of magic magic school I have no clue all right we've discovered the map so as I was saying um, I actually forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, um, that if you're gonna go uh, with um, military inventions, you're gonna lose the game uh, because everyone has too much of a big advantage than you, uh, and well, that's just unfair actually. So you always have to have the the, big, the biggest army, which is kind of hard when you're focusing on science, and if you focus on the military. Uh, you don't focus on science and everyone beats you to it because well again they have they get more units at the very start of the game so they can focus on other things oh Charlton Halton is it Charlton or is it Halton well anyways uh, I got some composite bowmen four more turns Somehow no one's making settlers. Well, at least not my ally. Usually on um, two population they have like one settler already. Once they get it they can make a settler and they instantly rush for it. And it's usually the case actually. Unless there's some kind of Babylon city and they're rushing for the greater library. Alright, I found a North Dark. Where is it? Yeah, looks no different. Um, let's just get some of these. Alright, so I'm about to invent forestry. Um, let's see, fletchery, a marksman, archery range requires one timber. Ah, so I, I'm guessing timber will be placed on every single forest? Because logically there's timber on every single guy that forest or jungle. Um, there may be even timber on planes. Though I'm not certain actually. In real life, yes, but in this game, no. Um, workshop. You get a workshop quite early on. Plus 10%. Oh. What the hell? Don't not afraid of battle, stranger. We that hyrians. I read tyrants. <laughs> Prefer peace over strife, trade over war. We have no luxury resources. Alright, we have quite some gold. Um, yeah, peace. You don't even want my friendship to guide them, asshole. Pikeman? Holy crap! Wait, get. How do you. Oh, warrior's code. Alright, warfare, warrior's code. Uh, um, same thing. Oh, you get some some stuff really early on in this game. I'm gonna see if they take this one. I'm gonna take this one. Let's hope they don't. Oop. 85 gold. Awesome. Well, there's a lot of resources here. Okay, one more turn and I get my settler. Um, 
I really wonder if it, it's different. Oh, a dwarf. Be quick about your business. Well, go fuck yourself. Um, I wonder if it's different, different at all from um, normal C5 uh, with settling cities. Do I have to do something else or something? I don't know. Um, I'm settling a city here and I'll expand for gems later because I need gold. Uh, I'm gonna stand on the gem so once I invent this crap I'm going to be able to instantly uh, oh look at that ruin I could be able to be I could I could instantly get gems alright we settled the city so can't get that Mages Guild um, should get an explorer actually but I'm gonna go for the Mages Guild Right next turn. It's actually quite a nice idea to have like early, uh, early on units that can explore. Um, I guess that removes uh, postures like horses because I can't see a single horse, and I'm guessing that's the reason. 